Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are working on part two of my junk journal. If you wanna see part one, you could check the description box down below. And if you wanna see the flip through of the final project that we are making, you could also check out the description box down below. Both links will be in the description box. But for today's video, part two, we're gonna be adding in all the other elements that is not the patterned paper into our junk journal. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so for this part of the video, I pulled out a bunch of elements that I'm thinking I could include. So I have my pink dyed paper, I have a scrap, I have a full size sheet, I have some scraps of vellum, which I totally need to take this tag off. Um, I used up the rest of this vellum, but haven't used that piece yet. I have another scrap of vellum. This one's light. This one's pink. This one's white. So I have those scrappies of vellum. I pulled out some doilies. So just a bunch of doilies in different colors and also a heart doily. I found this random book in my stash that I haven't read. My mom... Um, got it for somebody and she gave it to me. I intended to read it, but I never actually did. And it's just been sitting in my room. So let's use that. Um, I have some treat bags from Michael's. They're kind of like little coin envelopes. So I'll probably use some of those. And then I pulled out some papers from like, this is like a, like a little notepad from the Target dollar spot and things like that. I have, um, this notes paper from another note thing I had and this one I have some glassine bags I ordered online like yeah I know this video is supposed to be like a junk journal and you're supposed to pull from your stash but I didn't really have glassine bags I didn't have a ledger paper so I ordered some of that and I didn't have any guest checks so I ordered that also I could have it all linked down below but um you don't have to order things you don't have to add in all these things I'm just going to and then I also have just like a regular notepad. So some paper here that I'm thinking I could use as well. So I'm just going to start pulling things out and we're just going to start putting things together in between the pages of my journal. All right. So this I will save for later. Let's try to figure out. I definitely want to use at least one of these. It's just so big that I otherwise don't know how to use. So I want to use it in here. Let's pull out a glassine bag. Okay, we got a guest check. Let's take out one of these. I'm just pulling a piece of everything. Oh, these are individual sheets. Lovely. Hope those don't fall all over the place. And you know what? Let's even pull out um, a page from the book. I don't know. <laughs> like, ah. like, am I just supposed to pick any page? I've never added pages into my book before or into my journal. So yeah, I don't know. Let's just go with, I guess I'll pull out a page and see how it goes. I almost feel like I need two pages. Okay. Okay. So we're just pulling out random pages. I think that's how that works. Never done it. Don't know. Wow, we got a lot to add into here. Let's do another doily too. We need some white in our lives. I don't like this one. So let's do this little one. This one's like a grayish white. Okay, 
Okay, let's put these aside for now. This is what we're working with. Okay, so we should probably fold all these because they're going to go inside the journal. Okay, we got this one. We'll do this one. Trying to fold it like evenly. So I'm trying to line up my doily before I crease it. Okay, this one, we're gonna have to cut him down because when you put this into your journal, you want both sides to open up. So I'm just gonna cut that straight off. I have um, border punched it before, but for now, I'm not going to do that. That was actually really hard to do when I did border punch it, but, um, but you know what we can do? Oh, you know what? This is a good idea. Let's cut this at an angle. And then I'm going to cut one of these top layers, trying to create like this pocket thing right there. So then I'll just cut this across. Just so it looks more like an opening. Okay, so I just cut that top layer and now that looks pretty even. So we'll add that into my junk journal. So we can fold that in half. I like the sound of glassine bags. All right, we have a yes check. This one we might be able to just like stick in there on the side somewhere. We'll see. This one will fold. And maybe make this a little straighter. It doesn't have to be straight, guys, so don't think that it needs to be. I just had a little teeny piece there that I was like, hmm, let's make it straighter. Okay, so that's folded. Um, if I fold this, oh, perfect. I'll add this into like one of the green pages. Um, the book page, let's do some more ripping because now the other side looks ripped and let's just make it more ripped. Okay. And I feel like this needs some ripping too. Let's make it all ripped. <laughs> There's going to be some ripping edges. It's going to be the whole thing. Okay. Doesn't really matter how it's ripped, but it's ripped. And this you could kind of like fold however you want. I would just try to make sure that the, wherever you fold, that the writing is straight, but you don't have to fold it like that. You could fold it like this and have one piece shorter, one piece longer. So it's up to you. And then I'm just gonna rip this one. I know some people also do like use a dictionary. Um, I'm sure I have one somewhere, but I would have to go digging for it. <laughs> so we're not gonna use a dictionary. Okay, so I have that and I'm just gonna kind of fold it in half again. Okay, we have this, which I'm thinking could be like a cute little spot like attached to the thing or maybe that could go oh maybe this could go into our little like coin envelope or treat bag as they call it um, this would have to be folded a few times but that might work it's kind of cute right 
if I fold it in three and I want it to say sweet note, sweet notes. So we could do something like that. So that's kind of like a trifold and that could live in here and it fits perfect. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so we could do that. With these pages, I'm gonna leave those edges because I think they look cool. And same thing with this one. And maybe let's do one going this way. Um, this one, I'm going to try to use the whole vellum piece also. And this one I could actually probably border punch. So I'm going to take this border punch right here and I'm going to border punch him. Oh shoot, I missed a spot. Ah. Okay, not too bad. So that's cute. And let's do the other side as well. Okay, so that's a nice cute little bordered punch thing. You know what, let's start adding these pages. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I was almost thinking like a little like flip out of something, but I don't know yet. So we're just gonna kind of stick these in here. I think I want the vellum on the first page. So something like that. And I do wanna, oh, wait a second. <gasps> it's kind of long. You know what? I think it'll work. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so this one, I'll probably do some heat embossing. Not yet though. Right now, let me just figure out where everything is going to go, but that's going to be a cute vellum page. Maybe we could even add this notes page next. Maybe something like that. So let me see. If you open this. That looks cute and I like how this has the pink. Okay. Then here, maybe we'll add in this book page. And this opens up as well. I have to figure out what to put in here, but I just don't know yet. So let's just keep going. Oh, we need a doily in there somewhere. Um, where's my doily? Mm, I think I'm going to have this go the other way. So the white will be showing. Oh, let's have this underneath and then the book page okay so that will go like that then you have a doily okay then you have this page trial and error guys so just figure out what works and where you want to place it um 
Okay, so the other one I had the pieces go up on the top. This one I'm going to have them on the bottom. And I think I'll have this glassine bag right in the middle of that one. And maybe we'll add in another book page too while we're at it. Maybe like down here. So then we could kind of off center that. Okay. So this one will be down here. You have a pocket, a book page, a note page. Then you have this here. We can add in a doily, but I don't know. I don't like it. About this ledger paper. Oh, this is too long. You guys see how that's too long? But Okay, so I thought this one would be okay. It's kind of too big though. But we're gonna cut him. What I could have done before I folded it, I mean, I guess I couldn't have because I needed to see if it fit, but um, I could have tri-folded it. So folded it in three and then put it in, but it's okay. So I don't know where I want this one to go. I want it somewhere with the greenery, which is here. <laughs> um, maybe we'll make it like a little, oh yeah, maybe let's just put it inside there because I didn't know what to put in there anyway. I think I have to cut him a little shorter because otherwise he's sticking out. Maybe we can make him like a little book in here. Yeah, that's cute. And we could probably attach this page there too. Make it like a little booklet. What do you guys think? Then you have this, this. And maybe we'll even add in some of this. <laughs> it's added all. Ooh, let's try that. So we could add this in like this. And then this could fold out this folds out, then this one, then this page, that's the note page, then this one, and this also flips out. I think that looks good. So we might have to do two bindings here unless I staple it, but I like how that's a cute little like page in there. Um, Okay, hold on, let me try to staple it. I'm hoping this reaches. Oh, I don't know if it's going to, but let's try. Ah, too short. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna probably bound, bind that together 
um, just like we're gonna bind the rest of our book later. So that's probably what we're gonna do. So for now, I'm just going to paper clip this in here so I know how I wanted it to go. Okay, so that will look something like that. When that's closed up, this was going back over here. This is looking so cute, guys. I am loving it. Oh my goodness, right? So that looks like that. You have this page, you have this. I'll probably put like a, the little coin envelope maybe down here. We probably have to decorate him a little bit. Or you know what, we could paper clip him. We could paper clip him. But I feel like he needs a little bit of decoration. So maybe, <gasps> look how cute. Okay, so we could do that. We could add that little doily there. I could probably even just like glue him on there and then have the paper clip or I could just leave it all paper clipped together. And I'm not gonna be using these paper clip guys in case you're wondering. I will use some other ones that I have in my stash. Um, well, maybe I will use some of these. They're pink and white, so we'll see. Um, okay. No, I might want to glue him down, actually, because I can't paper clip him to the side because this is a flip-out page. Um, so we might just leave it. I mean, we might glue it down. So then you have this, this. Then you have this page, you have this, you have another book, you have another note page. We got here, we got this flip out here. I don't know what's gonna go inside here, but maybe this one will get like the guest check or something. Or maybe we should just have the guest check in here. I have tons of guest checks. If I waste one, that's okay. So that one could probably go in here and that would look like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that one could go there. Then you have this side, the other side of the junk journal. Tuck spot, doily, book page, tuck spot, note page. Vellum pocket. Oh, I like it, guys. I like it. Okay, so I didn't end up using this anywhere, but I'm almost thinking of leaving this like this. I was going to double mat it with another page, but I'm almost thinking of leaving it so that this could be a journal spot on the other side. I don't know where he's going to go. Maybe right here. Nope, I want him higher up. Maybe like that. I think I like that. And I feel like we should probably border punch these ones also. Or we could add in a cute little trim, but I think a border punch because the trim is going to make it too bulky inside. Oh, you know what? We could at least corner punch these. Let's see. Let's try this corner punch. Don't know what it looks like. I got this in a D-stash. So, oh, that just creates like a little... Wait, which one did we do? This one? I think we did this one. But I want the embossing to show a little bit more. Let me try to do it on here. I mean, it creates an edge, which I guess is fine. So there's a little edge, I guess, there. Okay, cut off a little bit, looks a little better with this cute little 
edge there and we'll put them back here. It's looking so cute. I'm loving this guys. Loving how it's turning out. And then obviously we still need a couple of other elements in here, but right now I think I do want something maybe on here. Maybe I don't. Do I want a stamp? Maybe not. I'm wondering if we should add in this one somewhere. Oh, maybe we could add that one in here. Yeah. <laughs> All these ideas. Um, let's do it this way. Let's punch the pages of this. One. Let's try a different one. This one's got like a little heart one. So we're just going to punch that out in here. So that one looks like that. I don't really know how you get the embossed piece it doesn't seem to really emboss I got this in a D stash so maybe that part just doesn't work anymore but I'm sure it does and I'm sure it's just user error because it like embosses a little teeny bit you could barely see it though anyway so let's put this one I think we'll put him in here Nope. I think I'll put him in here. Okay. So I think that's what we're going to do. We didn't even, we used most of everything that I took out. We didn't use the pink sheet and we didn't use the full size sheet which I guess I could still add if I really wanted to. Let me see. I would probably go this way. This four inches. And then I gotta cut him down at eight inches. him down a little bit to four and an eighth you know what? let's just cut him at four better safe um and actually i think i like this bigger scrap better than the other one that's a little thinner so let me cut him down a little bit too okay hold on guys so yeah, this one, it's thicker. So instead of that scrap, let's use this one. A little too long. Okay, so that could go in here. We'll paper clip that in there. And then this page. Hmm, maybe in here. Ooh, 
how about that? Yes, okay. <laughs> We're doing so good, guys. Okay, so we didn't use this little scrap and we didn't use the pink vellum. That's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is bind this together, which I don't really know how to do. But I think we actually need to bind this inside piece first. So we're gonna take this out. I'm gonna put my scissors there so I know that the other piece goes in between here. And we're gonna bind this together in here. Okay, so I have the We Are Memory Keepers book binding tool, but I'm just gonna use the pieces that it comes with. So the all, which is what this pokey tool is called. Any pokey tool will work. I have that, I have um, some wax thread in here. And there's a needle in here as well, so I could kind of um, put it through. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna leave that one off for now. So what you're gonna do, typically you poke three holes. I'm gonna, maybe I'll still poke my three holes. And just do a binding across the whole top. Maybe we'll just do that. So I'm gonna eyeball the middle, which I'm guessing is right here. So I'll poke, poke a hole and it's gotta go through like all the pages. Poke another hole. And then I'll poke one on the top. Leaving some space from the bottom. Okay. So now I'm gonna need some thread. I never know how much thread, guys. Um, but we'll go times three of the height of my book. So that's one, two, three. And in case you guys were wondering, this is some wax thread. So I'm gonna cut that. We're gonna thread that through my needle. And you guys see it's like stiffer. This is um, wax thread. So we're gonna thread that through here. And I don't remember how to do this. I don't remember which hole I go through first. But I think I start from like the bottom, but I can't remember if I go in. So if I go in, then I go out. No, I go out, then in. Nope, out, in, out in out no there's got to be a way that's supposed to meet in the center so here's my center page okay let's go out through the center leave a little tail go in through the top Okay, going through the top, come down through the bottom. Okay, and then come back out through the center. So that's the way to do it.
I cannot find the hole. There we go. Okay, so now that they meet in the center, both strings, once I could get this needle through. This is right, right? Okay, pull that through. I feel like this should be tighter. So, okay, we're gonna pull it. So now that they both are through the center, your strings need to go on opposite sides of the string in the center. I'm gonna try to pull that tighter. And then take this out. But good guys, we learned something new. We figured out how to bind this because <laughs> I'm so new to this. And you tie a knot. So I'm gonna leave those strings in there, but now that's bound. You can see this little spine here, and that is bound here. So that works like that now. And it's not gonna go anywhere. So what I am gonna do is just cut these off a little bit. I might want them, you know what? Maybe let's not. I might wanna add something later to those. I'm not sure yet. But now that I have that, I guess, no, this one I should still glue. I was going to say it could go through here, but something else can, like a cut apart from the collection maybe would fit in there. I'm not sure. So we'll figure that out later, but let's go to the rest of my journal. Now we got to bind the rest of this together. Fun stuff. Oh, I just love how it's turning out, guys. I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, that's why is that not straight? Ah, such a cute little mini book. Okay, so let me hold that down for, that's not holding it down. Stay closed. Okay, kind of. So I'm gonna get this more string now. And I'm gonna do three times the height of my book. Plus a little more because this is thicker. Okay, I'm gonna thread my needle. I'm gonna get that ready, but first we gotta poke our holes still. Oh wait, this is where I don't know if I want um, a ribbon because if I want ribbon, we should do that before I poke my hole. So let's see if I want like a maybe seam binding closure. I do have some of this beautiful seam binding. This is my cover. Oh, I like it. Okay, so this one is called Dusty Pink. It's from my scrap cabin shop. Um, that's where I get all of my seam binding from. And I'm going to see. I'm going to try to leave it longer so that the person could still wrap it around. A bunch of times. We'll see. Let's see how that goes. So they can wrap it around like this. And then still have the closure. Do we need another wrap around? Mm, 
Ooh, two wraparounds is good. And then they could have the closure right there. Okay, so there's my seam binding. I need to make sure this is in the center. So I'm gonna have that extra long piece right there, but I need to make sure when I put my seam binding through, or when I do my holes, it also goes through the seam binding so that the seam binding could stay in place. Does that look like the center? I think it does. But now I have to go <laughs> through the center here. I need some binder clips, guys. I need to like binder clip these pages because I feel like everything's gonna fall apart if I don't. Okay, so I binder clipped the top and the bottom. That's what it's gonna look like. Oh no, where did this go? I forgot how long it needed to be. So we'll see, we'll wrap it around. That looks pretty good. This is probably something I should have stitched on when I did my stitching, but I didn't. So we're just gonna figure it out. So now what you gotta do is open this up and you gotta poke your hole through. You need three holes. So I'm gonna try to make this first hole where I have the seam binding. And you wanna kinda do this like half closed um, so you could get your holes perfectly through. So all my holes are gonna go through. Just gotta keep pushing. Oh, it's right at the end. Hold on, I'm gonna move my seam binding down a little. All right, so you want that to go through. There's my first hole. And I almost feel like I'm just gonna put my thread through my needle because I don't want my seam binding to move. Okay, for now. Then I need a top hole. So you want to leave some space from the top, but you want to poke your holes through. All right, there's my second hole right there. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to poke another hole at the bottom. There we go. Okay. So now I'm ready to start threading this through so my seam binding could stay in place. Okay, so I want to leave a little bit to tie it through. I'm going to bring in through this hole. That went in pretty smoothly, but I lost my needle. Oh, it's under my envelope. <laughs> Okay, got that one. Seam binding, can you stay in place, please? I need you to stay. Please stay. Okay, then I have to go out through my bottom hole. These holes are going in a lot smoother. And I need to tighten that somehow. Tighten up that center piece. Um, this one's on that side of the hole, so I need this next one to go on the other side. So we'll go back in through the center. I think this is the hardest part, going in through the center again. Because you got to get in through all the pages.
Okay, I got in through something, but I think it's okay. It's on the wrong side of my thing there. Okay, now we got it. My envelope's in the way. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten up all these pieces. Try to tighten them up. Okay, so you want this spine to be fairly tight. So I tightened up my pieces as best as I could. You have strings on opposite sides. Now you tie this together. Okay, I'm gonna let that dangle. We can open this up and everything should be bound together. Look how cute guys. So let's not lose that, but this is what we got. So now we have this, you have your vellum page, you have a note page, you have this page, you have this, this opens up here. You have this little thing here. You got this, you got this 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 we got this here there's a guest check you open this up we're gonna put something in the envelope later on when we go to decorate got the next page you got here got this you got another book glassine bag then you have a doily you got a book page tuck spot and you got this, you have this other side of the page, the other note page, the vellum page, and another pocket in the back. Oh my goodness, so cute. And the way that this is gonna close is that this is gonna wrap around a couple of times and then you could tie it closed right here. So the only thing about this is that my, my picture this is going to be underneath all of those, which I think is fine. It still looks cute. What I can do is always put it like on top um, or just have it like that. So it still says happy and love. We'll probably do something like that. Oh my goodness. So cute guys. So this video was super long. The next part of my video. So if you didn't see part one, definitely check out part one. If you didn't see the flip through and you want to see what the final project looks like, definitely check out the description box below. You could see the final. And part three is going to be decorating, adding paper clips and charms um, and anything else like that, including like this little tuck spot that I want here. So we're going to add in all that next. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you guys in my next crafty junk journal video part three. Talk to you soon. Bye.